guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well so today let's spend the day together i have actually got a jam packed day today because i am flying to spain tomorrow morning to surprise my dad it's his 60th birthday i can't believe he's 60 he doesn't look 60 at all like i can't believe it and he's there with my mom and me and my brother are gonna fly out. He has no idea whatsoever. We're flying out in the morning to just be like, happy birthday, it's his birthday tomorrow. So got a lot to do today. Got to get to the gym, got some meetings, get my lashes done and obviously pack for this trip. I'm so excited. I can't remember the last time I was this excited to go on holiday. Like I'm not even excited for the holiday. It's gonna be cold, it's in Spain, it's in February, but like I'm just, I know he's gonna be so shocked and I just can't wait to surprise him. So anyway, I've just made some breakfast. It is 200 grams of yogurt, the fig yogurt, fat free, 60 grams of granola, skinny crunch, a handful of blueberries and a spoon of honey. And then obviously I've just made a coffee to start the day off right with almond milk and my sugar free syrups look how cool these are you can tell which one's my favorite <laughs> how nice are they from amazon i saw everyone posting them on tiktok so i got them got like a little coffee station now really happy i just can't wait for tomorrow i think it's gonna be like the best day ever so yeah i'm gonna eat this and then we will get dressed and head to the gym so guys quick interruption but this youtube video is sponsored by one of my favorite brands as we all know white fox i absolutely love this brand i wear so much of their things and i have got a little haul for you all i feel like it's been a minute since i've done one so starting off with this gorgeous set that i have got on we all know how much i love a loungewear i love loungewear i love pajamas i love styles i can come in take my clothes off and chill in the house in and this is the perfect set to start off the haul. So this is called the Don't Wake Me Up Pajama Set. I got this in a size small. This is the little lounge wear set. So comfortable, I'm just obsessed, you know. I love being comfy, as we all know. I feel like at the minute I'm either in pajamas or gym clothes, that's how my life is at the minute. But the fit of it, you can see it's got these little button details it's just so comfy i don't know what else to tell you other than it's such a comfy little cute outfit it'd be nice for like if you was like having a little chill night with a boy you know you still want to look cute you want to be in pajama style but we want to look nice and sexy this is the vibe and it's perfect fit so comfortable so next up is a set that i am absolutely obsessed with a co-ord I know everyone's saying we're coming into spring, but let's be honest, guys, it's going to get colder yet before it gets warmer. Like, I think it's going to snow yet, to be honest. So anyway, I've got this gorgeous knit two-piece. It is these black knit wide leg trousers. As you can see, the knit is like a really thick knit, which is gorgeous. Like, the white fox quality it goes without saying. I say it every single video. is amazing. Like, it never ever 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 dips it's just amazing so these are the bottoms at the bottom of the leg there is actually this zip detailing which is gorgeous you can have it open you can have it closed the matching jumper is literally gorgeous we're going for the loungewear comfy vibe set you know picture it keep it in mind you with me stay with me it is a co-ord with this gorgeous jumper so you can either wear it zipped up or you can wear it open or with like a little open neck so this is the, a jumper again it's knitted sleeves it's like wired on the bottom so i took this in i've got it in cream and i've already worn it tucked it in but this is to die for so this is called the let's get cozy oh, i didn't even know it was called that let's get cozy knit sweater small medium black maybe this does come with the tag and i might have taken them off oh wait i've got the tag and the bottoms are called Let's Get Cozy Knit Pants. And I got these in a size small. Now this set, I absolutely adore. Like you can't go wrong with this, can you? I have just tucked it in, as you can see. But, but you can wear it out like this, which is also super cute. You can roll the sleeves up to make it like a little rolled up look on the sleeve. You can see. You can have it down or roll it up. Obviously, I tucked this in. Also, you can have this up fully zipped. Or you could have it fully open. 
like put it down like that and wear it two different ways which is gorgeous the trousers the fit of it is just amazing the quality is amazing and i just think this is a really cute little outfit for day to day dotting around you know you want to look nice you look smart but you don't have to put any effort to it that's the beauty of cohorts is you don't have to think about it it's just all done for you i have just put this on with some trainers but some nice little ugg boots would be cute with this all in all this is a 10 out of 10 out of it from me this is a right up my street nice simple easy smart looks nice nailed it obviously we know that when mary loves something mary has to get it in two colors so because i love that outfit so much that honestly it's to die for i also got it in the cream i have actually already worn this one it is stunning like honestly it's so gorgeous so it's just the same set again um but in this cream like oatmeal color i have taken the tag off this um, but I'm guessing it's going to be called Let's Get Cozy as well, like the black one. And the colour will be like oatmeal. I think there was only two. No, there's this colour and then they also do it in grey as well, which I also want to get that set. But the colour, especially being blonde, I love wearing cream. Like, I think it is such a gorgeous colour with some Ugg boots. Obviously, I'll style it up and you can see. Now, I absolutely adore this in cream. I wore it the other day and I left it out and I put a long jacket over the top. I've just put some Ugg boots on with it. Really cosy vibe. But I also like if you just tuck in the one side and like it drapes down and the sleeves is what i was mentioning before you can roll them because the sleeve is so long so it just looks like a nice little finishing detail like a cuff and when i wore it the other day with the jacket i had them popping out at the end i don't know what i prefer the cream or the black because i do love both but this is like a little cream trench coat i just love it and it's so comfortable and the fit is immaculate still sticking with that cozy vibe you know like this is going to like pilates aesthetic you know when you see girls on instagram they're going pilates they're going like for breakfast like they're eating all the green matches or whatever this is for them girls so it's just a little cute it's not even a set i don't think but i made it into a set so starting off it's these yoga flares like are they called yoga flares do you know what i mean like they're like yoga bottoms i think this is actually a roll over so you roll the bottoms down and then it is like a wide leg flare. You know, like the yoga pants that all the cool girls are wearing at the minute. Well, we are going to be cool girls because I got some. So, yeah, these are the bottoms. These are called Don't You Worry Pants. I got these in a size small. And then to go with, make it into like a little set. I mean, I guess it's not a set. It's just a trousers and top. But I like to think of it that way. This top. So, it is like off the shoulders you can off one shoulder it's got like ruched detailing which is just super cute ruched detailing all on the body so it's going to be nice and tight which obviously we know i love and yeah this is the little top so i thought it'd be really cute to wear you know like this is down the pants are rolled down going to get like a green tea that's the vibe we're going for so yeah this is the top this is called Best of Luck Long Sleeve Top in a size small. This is such a cute set. I mean, it's not a set, but I've made it into a set. I make it into a set for us lot. I just put it on with some white Asics trainers. And I just feel like this is giving Pilates. Like, imagine with, like, a green matcha right now. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is really giving clean girl Pilates fitness aesthetic, and I'm here for it. These trousers fit like a glove. They're so comfortable. I literally feel like I'm not wearing anything. And this top, I feel like the little one shoulder and like the ruched detailing just adds to it. Obviously, it's like quite a plain outfit, but I'm here for plain outfits. You know, I'm like been all in black, little white trainer. And yeah, I think this is really cute. Now, don't all fall over in shock, sheer shock. But I've gone for a little bit of colour. Just saying. She's adding a little bit of jazz in there. I saw this and I couldn't resist. I actually couldn't resist. Same style as the last outfit I just showed you. Pilates, cool girl, that kind of vibe. In pink. I got the yoga pants in pink. I just think this colour is so gorgeous. And I love pink. Like, I don't really wear a lot of pink, but I've got a lot of pink accessories, pink trainers, etc, etc. I love them. So they're the same pants as I've just shown you. Like a yoga flared bottom but in bright well not bright pink it's like a nice cute baby pink these are called again don't you worry pants in a size small and then hear me out to match these yoga flares was this little top i thought that would look so cute 
together. So this is a grey top, so we're not going to be in full pink, but it's got like this under detail, and like the edging is the baby pink, the same colour as the pants. How cute is that? I just saw it and I was like, oh my god, this would be so nice in summer. I'm guessing the Pilates girl look is going to still be around, you know, like it's not going anywhere, is it? Everyone's going on that vibe at the minute. So this can be me. This top in a few colours on the website. This is called Only Girl Top. Because I'm really excited to try this outfit on. A little bit of pink in here. It's the only colour you're getting from me other than cream. But yeah, how cute. It's giving ballet class Pilates girl. I am obsessed with this. This top is so cute. Like with the detail around the neck and then the little bits of pink. How nice. This would be such a nice top to wear with so many different things. The pink yoga pants, I mean, they're a bit extravagant for me, I can't lie. But I do still love them. I feel like in summer, these would be so cute. The fit of them is so nice, as you can see. It's like the black ones. And I'm here for it. I feel like I should go to a ballet class and definitely get a matcha. Like, pink girls for the win. Then just moving on to a little bit more dressy, because I know a lot of you girls are my dressy girls, going out girls. I actually wore this dress a few days ago and all of my friends was like, Mary, that could be the best I've ever seen you look. I was like, really? They was like, yeah. And it is an absolute dream of a dress. So let me show you. It is this black leather midi dress. When I tell you this fits like a glove, like genuinely might as well have been designed for me. Like it is gorgeous. It's like a bandeau, bandeau, bandeau dress leather the leather is such nice quality as well you know sometimes you get like obviously it's faux leather but when you get it and sometimes it looks like a bit naff and you can tell like it looks a bit yeah this isn't like that this is looks like real leather which is just amazing little midi dress it has got a split at the back and i feel like i can stand here all day and speak to you about this dress but i need to show you on because it genuinely does something to you that is just unbelievable i have cut the tag out obviously because i've worn it but i will link everything in the comments box below um but this is a size small and it is just when i try it on for you you're all gonna gasp i gasped my friends gasped it is a moment but this has to be my favorite thing from the haul i'm sorry it just does how flattering is this like I've put it on with some long boots. This is like a Maya Jam, what Maya Jam would wear. But it literally, did you see what I mean about the dress fitting like a glove? Like it literally fits me like a glove. And then last but by all means not least, I've got another little dressy outfit for you. You can actually dress this up and you can dress this down, whatever you fancy. But a little black dress lbd you can never go wrong can you so this is like a little knitwear you can see it's like stretchy fabric high neck long sleeve the quality is so thick so you're gonna be warm still you know i know we're still in winter you're gonna be warm it's nice it's like a little mini dress but then the back is all out like how flattering is this going to be on i've not actually tried it on yet but i'm so excited to you can wear this with tights some flat boots you can wear this with a heel and tights i mean the possibilities for this are endless oh my god no i don't know if this is now my favorite outfit like oh my god how nice it's got little finger holes you can put your fingers in i didn't realize it cut out to the front as well but this is a moment I put it on with some black tights, some black court heels. I think this wins. It came up last and it stole first place. So well, guys, that is the end of my little white fox haul for you all. I hope you've all enjoyed. I absolutely love the pieces. I'm not sure which one is my favorite, but I'm obsessed. Thank you to White Fox for sponsoring this video. And we will carry on with the rest of the vlog now. Just pulled up at the gym and I've realized I've not brought my headphones. <gasps> Oh, how have I forgot my headphones? This is a disaster. Contemplated not going in, but then I was like, no, Mary, you're here now. And you're going away tomorrow, like you need to do it. Luckily, normally every day I start off with a 3K run, but my lashes are in an hour. Well, not in an hour. I need to leave here in an hour and it's glutes day. So I don't have enough time to 3K run, thank God, because I won't be able to do it without any headphones. 
but his glutes, which is quite challenging. I'm gonna have to do it, I'm here now. How have I forgot my headphones? And I like to listen to like a little bit of old school, like Jay-Z, Kanye West in the gym. Probably gonna be playing Taylor Swift on the speakers, aren't they? Oh! No, I've got this. I've got this, got it. I can do it without headphones. Oh, so yeah, great start. Not. It's absolutely bouncing down as well. Oh well. We're gonna go in and attack this session. I'll try to film some stuff for you in there. Depends on how busy it is. Whoa, that's made my lips go red, didn't it? Um, but if not, I am gonna put my whole workout session on the screen. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing. bits for you. I haven't had a run so maybe my hair won't have a kink in it, won't be sweaty today. Um, managed to film some bits. I didn't do the whole session because obviously I'm conscious that I am in a gym and if I knew I was getting filmed in a gym when I didn't film it for myself, I would be fuming. So I did the best that I could. I put my session on there for you all to give it a try. Let me know what you think. It's not my session, it's Sophie's session, but let me know what you think if you give it a go. I feel like when I don't run in the gym, I don't feel like I've achieved as much. Like I love doing the run to warm up. Um, and like, I'm not sweaty. I don't sweat me, I just go red. So like, I'm not sweating. I look fine. Look, you wouldn't know I've been to the gym, but my legs are hurting. So I must've done something right. So let's go now and get my lashes done. Getting brows done. I need to go to the Trafford Centre because I've run out of an eyebrow pencil and obviously I can't go to Spain with no eyebrows. That would not be cute. So yeah, time up to perfection. I've got exactly 15 minutes to get there and it's a 15 minute drive. My lashes are done. Look how good they look. Kia doesn't want to be in it. But she's the best of the best. I'm just walking into my eyebrows now. And it's in the same building that China White's in. And every time I come, I'm just like, one, I never knew that this was a whole building. If you've ever been to China White, you'll know what I'm on about. But it's a whole building that's definitely got ghosts in. And two, I just have the fear now. Because I've not been trying to White in a minute. I can't imagine I'll ever go again in my life. But I just have anxiety about how drunk I used to be in this building. Partying with the ghosts, like it's so bizarre. It's a full on building with wallpaper. There's old ghost depot live here. The tent is on. Imagine if I just left my eyebrows like this. <laughs> I have HD brows. That's what it is when you're using it. Signature brows. Signature brows. In between lamination. And if you are in Manchester, Grenier is the best in the world mm -hmm. at brows. Brows are done. I'm back to normal again. <sighs> Got my eyebrows and my lashes ready for spin. There is truly no better feeling in this world than getting your eyebrows done. Like, I think because I'm so fair and my eyebrows disappear so much. I just make my face, like now I don't feel like I need makeup on anymore. Because I've got eyebrows and eyelashes. Like, I feel like if you're blonde, you can relate to this because I just, I feel so awful when I've got no eyebrows. And now I feel like I could attack the world. Also, I know I say Grania every time I speak about my eyebrows and I pay for my eyebrows like this isn't gifted like my lashes and my brows or anything but she's actually Snap and Co on Instagram if you want to book in because she genuinely is the best. Like I would never, ever go anywhere else for my brows and she used to do my LVL before I started getting lashes and she's just amazing. So yeah, I need to go home now, have a shower from the gym. Um, Quickly like do something with myself, maybe dry shampoo my hair, because I have got two meetings then, and then I need to pack, and then I need to get to the Trafford Centre, which is kind of an issue. Maybe have the meetings, then we go to Trafford Centre, then we pack the cases, ready to rumble at 4am in the morning. I just got out of the shower. I put the White Fox cord on, because it's actually really cold today. 
um, I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of makeup because I've got two meetings now and I can't go looking awful, can I? I'm going to stress that I've got a lot to do <laughs> this evening and then I've got to get up at 4am. I also have just had a text which I really wish I could tell you but I'm not going to tell you yet but very very soon I have the biggest announcement probably in my life for the next few years like I'm so excited to tell you all um I just feel like life's really going good at the minute I had my wobble and I felt like there's so much to look forward to this year so yeah I'm so excited and I'm so excited to surprise my dad. Like, I actually can't wait. My brother rang me earlier and we were speaking about it. And me and my dad are the hardest people to surprise. Like, no one can surprise me. It's actually, I'm actually really bad. Like, I self-sabotage myself. But I don't know what it is. I'm just, like, a detective. So I find out everything. Like, I don't know. I just have, like, an inkling feeling sometimes. And then... Like, I'll search for things and then I'll know. So, like, if anyone's ever trying to surprise me, like, any of my friends or anything. Like, I remember at my birthday, Sophie was trying to plan a surprise meal for me for when I got back from LA. That never actually happened, by the way. So, something obviously went wrong. And I found out. So, I'm just... And I'd, obviously, I would never tell them that I found out. Um, I've told Sophie now, but... I would always act surprised but I'm scared that that's what my dad's gonna do to us like he's gonna know but then I'm like how could he know like there's no way on the planet that he will know me and my brother have been like planning like what we're gonna say on the phone tonight because basically there was two flights out so there was one tomorrow at like 10 a.m or maybe 11 a.m and we would have gotten there for we would have been with him for like three and I was like Sam that's way too late because then he's gonna think like why haven't we called him in the morning it's his actual 60th birthday like tomorrow um so i was like it's way too late like people he'll be thinking like why haven't they called me so there's a flight out of manchester tomorrow at 6 a.m so we're getting on that one and he rings me every day like and rings sam every day so i said tonight when he rings me i'm just gonna be like oh my god like i'm literally knackered like, I've been getting up at 6am every day this week. I can't wait for a lion tomorrow. It's my first day off in ages. And then I'll say, I'll ring you anyway tomorrow. Like, happy birthday. So then I'll be thinking, I'm not going to ring Mary because she's going to be asleep. And I think we'll get to them by, like, 11 o'clock their time, which is actually only 10am at home. So our thing is, he's not going to suspect anything because obviously by the time he would have been thinking, why haven't they rang me yet, we'll be there. So we've really, really, there's been so much planning going into surprising this man because he is, well, I can't say anything, he's exactly the same as me. we just detectives. We find out everything. But it's just if Karen has let it slide by accident. But I don't think she has. I don't know how me doing a little quick makeup has turned into this because I've been talking. I've not realised what I've been doing. I wasn't going to put all this on. Oh, well. I need to also wash my hair tonight. I've got so much to do. And I ordered loads of like cute little bits to go away with. Nothing's turned up. To be fair, I did leave it until so last minute and I knew what I wanted to order from like three weeks ago. Obviously, because my organization skills is zero, didn't order it. And then now I'm going away tomorrow morning and nothing's here. This is obviously the nude palette. As always, with the nude doubled up brush, just put all of my face, look how much better I look now. And then with the nude brush again, and with the palette, I'm just going to put some on my eyelids. Just as a little bit of eyeshadow, bronzer on the lid. Really make us look put together. I just love how fast you can do your face with this palette, like, done. A little bit of blush now, same brush, other end. All from the same palette, it's just so easy. I've literally just brought my face to life 
in what was that two minutes bronzer in eyeshadow and blush all from the same palette with two brushes this brush and the other brush you can actually still buy it in a bundle on the website if anyone wants to get their hands on it there that actually just took me five minutes a little bit of creme brulee do you know what I'm actually going to do today instead of wearing a gloss? I'm going to wear this Kylie Lip Butter just because my lips feel a little bit dry. It is so creamy. You can see I've put the lip liner on but like over most of my lip and then with a lip balm on top and it looks like I'm wearing like a full on lip combo. But it's just the liner and some basically Vaseline. A little hack for you there if your lips are hurting guys. I had my tapes refitted this week. You know when they're like a little bit tight on the head, like your hair's a little bit painful. That's what I'm going through right now. Like it's hurting a little bit. Dry shampoo never goes amiss and it actually makes my hair look blonder as soon as I look practically brunette in the top right now. I'm desperately, desperately, desperately overdue. A little trip to see my darling Callum. She's freshened up. She's ready to go. God, I've still got a spare 15 minutes. Better make some lunch, actually, because I am going to starve. I'm just going to go and eat. I'm not going to show you what I eat because I literally showed you on my last video. And then we'll go to the meeting. See Sophie, pack my suitcases. I've styled the White Fox two-piece. My long black coat. I am obsessed with this coat. I wear it every single day. My black bag. So I need my laptop. And then my Adidas Campus. Are they the Campus? I think they are the Campus, aren't they? This is the look. Business chic. I can't film in the meetings because they are a little bit hush-hush at the minute. Um, but I will film afterwards. We need to go to the Trafford Centre. Sophie's going to come here. I need to pack. You know, you get the drill. But outfit check for the meetings. Makeup check for the meetings. Hair check for the meetings. We're on a roll. So meetings are done, I'm with Sophie. Hi. Me and Sophie just had a really exciting meeting. So excited. We're really excited to We're tell really you all. We're really excited to tell you all. There's so much things coming, guys. Honestly, like, it's so exciting. Oh, yes. I'm zooming. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm zooming. It's such an exciting time in life. It is. I'm really excited about this year. We're not letting an opportunity pass us by. We're not. Come We're not letting an opportunity pass us by. We're at attacking life with both hands we're a team we're a team yeah yeah <laughs> and i said i haven't obviously told them yet but i've got the biggest announcement i think of the next five years of my life next week oh yeah 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 you have <laughs> oh my god yeah you have <laughs> yeah wait so, am i thinking about the same thing i think so what i just showed you oh right i wasn't <laughs> no i wasn't thinking about that i was thinking about um Oh. <laughs> so yeah, Wait, we just, why only five years of your life? Because, like, I am guess I'm going to have baby. Maybe the rest of your life. Well, no, because I'm guessing, like, when I have a baby and get engaged and stuff, obviously that's a big announcement, isn't it? Oh, right. Oh, oh I get what you, you mean. Know what I mean? Like, like, you mean, this is the, like, biggest, this is the announcement. biggest announcement until probably I'm pregnant. It's probably bigger than we've been engaged. Yeah, yeah. It's a really big commitment, actually. Yeah, so... Like anyway, we're going to the Trafford Centre because Sophie needs to get a mum up a present and I need to get some bits for holiday. And yeah. we're also starving, so... I'm actually dying of starvation. We're going to get a Nando's. And then go home and pack. But successful day. What a really successful day. I really enjoyed Teamwork that. makes the dream work, guys. Don't give up on your dreams, guys. I thought you was pissed off no. me <laughs> when you was talking with your fist. Yeah. Exciting. Don't worry. About a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. About a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Yeah Wow guys so We're back from the Trafford Centre Got We need to do our cheers Yeah Sophie's letting me have a drink Is this mine? Occasion. Sophie's letting me have a drink 
Cheers. Cheers. To celebrate. To our Futures. secret that we're not allowed to announce yet. To our future. To our future. Our life together. Our life together. We're, we're really doing this forever. Yeah. We're in this forever We're now. in this forever. <laughs> so anyway. We're getting married. We are. We're already married. We yeah. are. So we've got a Nando's, obviously let me have a Nando's, it still fits into my calories. The wine probably doesn't, but oh well. But I am going to call it a, call it a day because I have got a lot of packing to do. I need to tan, I need to get ready for tomorrow. But I am going to vlog the trip. So next time you see me, I'll be surprising my dad in Spain. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you have all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Say bye. Bye.